Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by again. This is part 11 of a 12-part series in which I'm reading stories from The Golden Windows by Laura E. Richards and then talking a little bit about them. And this one is just a short, page-long story called The Neighbor. What can you tell me about your neighbor? asked the angel who looks into things. Oh, an excellent person, said the busy man, full of wisdom and virtue. Mary, too, and, and in short, a delightful companion. Oh, you have been much together, then, said the angel who looks into things. Well, scarcely that, replied the busy man. In fact, I have been so excessively busy that I have seen nothing of him for a long time. But now I have every intention of doing so. Yes, yes, indeed. I, I think I will ask him to, to eat dinner with me tonight. You cannot do that said the angel. Why not? Because he died this morning. Now, this isn't to lay the big guilt trip on us if we're too busy to notice those around us. However, sometimes a little guilt's helpful to wake us up. <laughs> yeah. Learning how to slow down has been something I've been trying to learn now for several years, and, and I do much better now than I have in the past. Especially to appreciate those around us. The angel who looks into things, into things like the, the heart. And one of the things I love about this story is the man's busy. He's a busy man. The story calls, it, calls him a busy man, but he's not so busy that he can't hear his angel. Angel's talking to him and asks him about his neighbor. And um, so we can take a lesson, right? Not just to look in on our neighbors in the, in the heat of the summer or the cold in the winter, but to take the time to appreciate those we love, the neighbors around us, family, friends, and, and take the time to be with them, spend time with them. We don't know when we're going to go. It's just the way that it is. That said, since we don't know that, doesn't mean we have to go eat dinner with everyone that we think of and then never do anything we're supposed to get done. Just means that through the busyness, take the time to appreciate those around you and yourself, to have fun. He recognized the wisdom and the, and the merriment in the other man, right? We spot it, we got it. So the busy man had those virtues within himself. Take the time, however, to appreciate them in yourself and those around you, the story says. To be conscious and mindful. So this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog saying thank you so much for watching part 11 of our 12-part series. Take care.